I grew up in a coal mining district in northern England. This photo shows one of the many coal mines that surrounded my village. In this documentary film from the 1940s, we see a typical workday around a coal mine, and this is also how I remember life in my town in the late 1960s. We lived together with my grandfather, a coal miner who worked underground from 1920 until 1966, like the man in this film. His back was broken in a mine collapse in 1946. He was told he'd never walk again, but he was determined to get back on his feet, and one year later he was not only recovered, but able to lift his brother over his head, as shown in this photo from that time. These were the stories and the surroundings that I grew up with. Fast forward to eight years ago, when I made a series of stop-motion animations exploring these memories of industry and family history. When I think of those damp, grey days in northern England, images of crows spring to mind, their dark shapes silhouetted against snow on winter fields, perched on the peak of the church, or kicking up a racket from the treetops. Then I remember a great printmaker called Leonard Baskin, whose prints of crows were used in a poetry collection by the great British poet Ted Hughes, called Crow. There are bird paintings by Susan Rothenberg, an artist who has had a big influence on me. Put all these together, my grandfather's mighty forearms, crows, the impasto brushwork of Susan Rothenberg, and another influence, Leon Kossoff, and I was finally ready in 2019 to return to oil painting to see where these memories in paint would lead me.